Uh, the only thing that that video would be shown on is YouTube and this show. <laughs> I can't like. imagine anybody rebroadcasting that anywhere. That looked like two older guys, and they probably had the hots for that girl in the neighborhood, and came up with the idea to making a video and putting her in it to try to because they probably want to try and sleep with the girl. Like that. That's what I got out of that. This this was a, 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 it was nonsensical. I didn't understand what was going on. What about the the you music too, like, though? What about the rap? What about the music? What about the lyrics? I, I, I didn't I didn't really understand it. These guys they were in like the suburbs. It's not like yeah. they were in the hood or anything. It's just like, I, I don't it know. Was like, you, very, it was like, it was like a sort of, you know, like if we were talking about earlier how, you know, hip hop has a history of celebrating drug culture. Is this like the new version where it's like we're, we're celebrating the, the unfortunate decline of the American middle class due to abuse of prescription drugs? Yeah, selling pills. <laughs> Yeah. Look, That's I'm not sure the video the was the video was kind of whack and it didn't mean shit and it, and the skit was brutal, but I kind of like the beat, you know. I'm not sure what they were saying. The worst, it wasn't yeah. the worst hook in the world, and like the, the from what I heard of the lyrics, you know, even though I was somewhat distracted by the atrocious video, it was yeah, it wasn't the video awful. was brutal. Yeah, I'm gonna really give brutal. it. I'm gonna give it a, a, a thumbs down, but yeah. I am gonna say it still was better than the Get My Go song. No. With, with one thousand percent. If yeah. I wouldn't have seen the video, I would have given it a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. But the video was ridiculous. I don't. Right. I, video, video like, dragged it down. Like you want to sure. talk to these guys? Like you, you, get, you want to get in a booking meeting with them or like a production meeting? It's like, okay, what's your guys? Bro, if you're what wasting all this time, if you're wait a minute, think about this. If you're wasting all this time or or expending all your time or investing your time into making music that you hope to monetize on and you're trying to put it on a platform like ours so it can be disseminated to a large percentage of the audience and maybe then buy it put some goddamn time into the video too not just the beat of the fucking song you know so i, I have mean, a i have i have a i have a real pet peeve with i'm very impatient i really i can't stand when like music videos have a really long you know drawn out Intro with intro, like dialogue right. and this right. and that. I, just, I, get, get, I want I pl I click it because I want to hear the song. Not I'm see the this. same way, bro. I have a very yeah. low threshold for that. It's like, yeah. bro, get to what you need to get to. And let's right. get it cracking. Um, so, are you giving that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Uh, I don't know. I, the the song's okay. The video is so brutal. Uh, for the for the simple fact that. Uh, the, a video can be altered. You know, you can you can improve a video more easily than you can improve someone's musical talent. So I'll I'll give them a thumbs up, but barely. It's like a it's like a thumb on an incline. Mm -hmm. So so you we got an incline thumb, and we got Lester <laughs> Sanchez, who should really look into changing his name. Uh, the two thumbs up. Everything else was brutal, yeah. and, and to get my go was, is was an abomination. Worst. Yeah, that's worse. Yeah, that's worse than the Frank the Clown video. Oh, I think we should all block Mike Sherman from on every platform. Uh, we should. And, uh, See what happens. I might have, him, I might, I might have him. I might have him barred from all future NWA events. Well, let's just, oh, that would be great. Let's just get him. That would be awesome. Let's just get him deplatformed. Let's that's try to make him these, these are dirty yeah. tricks. Yeah. Low down, dirty yeah. tricks. Let's get him kicked <laughs> off. Uh, what, what? Let me ask you a question, Joe. What? What shows? What platforms does the Get My Go Show on? Because we may have to come after the Get My Go Show, too. Oh, that's a YouTube, and uh, it's on uh, Spreaker. Oh, my God. We may have to come yeah. after them. Yeah, does he have heat with Russo? Because it was something there where they were yeah, kind that's, of taking stuff to that's Russo. The other, that's the other guy that we used to make fun of on the show. He he turned against Russo, and that's how the whole thing kind of started. You know, through his. Well, so you hypocrisy. made a song of quotes of people. Nobody knows who the fuck they are or what <laughs> they're talking about. That's a Mike Durbin production. Incredible. Great um, pretension. All right. Let me, let, me so, ask, uh, let me ask Nick a question before we give his plugs here, because I know people have asked me uh, and wanted me to ask this question. What are you up to down WrestleMania weekend? Are you going to be at WrestleCon and all that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we are going to be at WrestleCon. Mickey and I, uh, yeah, we're, we're taking pre-sales now. You can go to teamaldis.simpletix.com. Um, we're, we're, we're taking pre-sale orders for uh, WrestleCon. We'll be there. Have we'll you and there. Mickey wrestled, wrestled Cardona and Chelsea yet? Nope. Why don't you guys book that? That makes perfect sense to me. Oh, gee, Glenn, why, why don't you just give away all our fucking things that we have that are in the, that are in the <laughs> can I you know, by, make them I try to, by trying to I look would, smart, by, by would, giving away something that's an obvious layup in booking? Why don't, why, why don't you just suggest it as if it's not been fucking discussed? Why don't you I would never that? suggest a spoiler. I hate spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> what days are you there? Huh? What days are you there at WrestleCon? Uh, we're we're, we're going to be there all, all three days: Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, um yeah, there, there will be. I will. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to be involved in some other stuff during the week, but none of it's been announced yet. Um, so I've got a question for you, Nick. 
But, but you know, the Glenn, Glenn went ahead and just buried the lead there. But you know, yeah. I got a question. Have you Brutal. have you gone to see a WrestleMania live before? Uh, yes. Well, how old were you? Were you before you got were wrestling or afterwards? No, no, I was I was in the box uh, for which the one in Orlando. Orlando. Twenty seventeen. Yeah. It was you know I was I was I just I went I was in the I was in the box with the with the other talent you know. Right. Interesting. But you've fun. never like let me ask you a question. Have you? What was the last time you attended a wrestling event as a fan? Would it be that WrestleMania? Uh, well, like yeah. I mean, I suppose technically, yeah. I mean, if you if you want to look at it like that, I guess that I guess that probably would would have been it. I don't know. Um, and then, I mean, shit. As as far as like just a, like buying a ticket as a fan, probably. Um, oh, I guess, um, yeah, probably a WWF house show. Like when I was a kid, like when yeah. I was a teenager. Yeah, it's funny too because f- fans always t- tell me when WrestleMania comes around, and it's like they go, "Are you going?" <laughs> like, what are, yeah. No, I don't like to, you know. It's funny they still they think that we like like we still go attend the shows and stuff because we're big we're big mm-hmm. fans, you know. So yeah, it's, it's different perspective. Nick, I, I enjoyed it in the I enjoyed it when in the hospitality box, you know, because I got to hang out with a bunch of my friends, and you know, right. who, I mean, they were all most most of them were in NXT at that point, but it was you know, and they've always and, they, and I have to say, you know, I've never worked there, but they've always whenever I've been around like the Hall of Fame or for for stuff like that, um, you know, the office always were always very accommodating to me, always because like it, it when Mark Carano was there, he was always like, hey, just you know, you're you're one of the boys, like just do whatever kind of thing. Let me ask you a question: three. Probably your three top friends that work for other companies. Like, who are you still very friendly with that works for other, uh, uh, like that works for like uh, AEW and, and WWE? Um, uh, Sam Shaw, Dexter Loomis. Right, I'm a big fan. Where of Where is he? He's in NXT. NXT. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, he's that's right. He's, that's right. He's doing that thing with Indy Hartwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's he's uh, he's uh, he's one of my very good buddies. Um, and then um, I mean, like my 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 sort of closest friends, uh, you know. Tom, he worked obviously works with us at the NWA, and then um, Marty, and then Sam. Um, but then, uh, as far as like, I guess uh, I'm trying to think, um, you know, obviously a bunch of guys who I sort of like a abyss, but he's a you know, but he's obviously a producer, you know, at right. WWE, and um, great, great guy, bro. Yeah, I had a lot of fun great, with yeah, him and Jeremy him. and Davari. Same thing. Davari is probably you know is the other would be the other one who you know who I would consider like sort of one okay? of my. You all right, Good buddies, but he's a, again, but he's a producer at WWE. Oh, Nick, are you okay? You all right? You okay? That's a miss. Yeah. <laughs> say, you okay? You oh, okay? Hey, sure. No, no. Yeah. Here's, the, here's the other one. Are, are, you, right, mad okay? are you, okay? you mad at me? Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not mad at me, are you? Yeah. <laughs> are you sure? You know, I was just. You know, I was just. You what know, I was just kidding when I said that, man. Yeah. You know, I love you, man. What <laughs> a great guy, bro. What a fucking great guy he is, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, like Abyss, so Abyss, let me ask never, you. Let, let's just tell this is where we're on the record here. Abyss, none of us ever had any ill will towards you. Okay? Yeah, right. no, no one's ever been, no one's ever been mad at you in your entire about. life. Right. And bro, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's very. He, here's yeah. another thing people don't know about him. He's very, very underrated as an agent. He's yeah. very smart, bro. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, what happened? Well, because he's well, he's he's an agent at WWE, and uh, from 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 what I hear, I don't want to I don't want to tempt fate and jinx this, yeah. this poor motherfucker. But uh, from what I hear, he's um he's, he's very well liked by uh, by Vince and everybody there as an agent. So nice. well, yeah, he's nice. great. Um, let so let me ask you a question, Nick, because I used to keep up with NWA really good, and it's just hard with so many promotions, and plus I'm trying to do my own shit. So what's going on in NWA? Uh, you know that your hottest storylines and where can people find it? And if they go there, what can they expect? Cause you're always bringing in. I like that. You're always bringing in fresh talent, you know? Yeah. The main, well, like, so, so, you know, the, the, the main angle now is me and Cardona. Right. You know? So, and, and, uh, did he take the title from Trevor? Did I read yeah. that correctly? All yeah. Right. And we, and we, uh, we, you we turned did, baby we, face, right? Yeah. We did some good business in Nashville. We had, uh, double J as the special guest referee and, um, had a had a uh, had a, a, a good little controversial finish there to the to the show on, on Sunday, and um, you know we'll, that that'll be that'll be continuing on. And uh, Crockett so, Cup was so, awesome. So so you went for the title and you got fucked over somehow by Jeff, mm-hmm. right? All right, inadvertently. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then uh, yeah, do the uh, if you haven't seen it and you and you and you feel like what if you the 
night two of the Crockett Cup, especially, was I, I thought was a was uh, was a real home run. It's uh, it's available on fight. You just got to. Are you working? Are you working against Jeff? Are you huh? working against Jeff anytime? I think that them. I uh, nothing confirmed, but I feel like that might be uh, something in the. In, well, in, let me in, tell you, he he produced some really good video content for his matches against Effie that he had. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we, he, yeah like, he, if, if you and you and you and him would probably have good a good build up. Yeah, we like, had he, you, he good involved. content to build up the, the match. You know, he was, he was a focal point of the build to, to the, of the second part of Ten Pounds of Gold. The, the build for me and Matt because it was right. all kind of you know referencing our history together and you know whether whether he'd be able to be impartial and stuff like that. So yeah, right. how are the uh, what have you been? In, what has been your impression of my boys, uh, La Rebellion? Yeah, they did. Do they, they did great? They had everybody was uh, marking out for their uh, entrance attire that they had at the. How great set. was that? They had some, yeah, they had some sweet looking stuff. Um, yeah, dude, they did. They, you know, they did great. They are, uh, and then I mean, everybody in that, everybody in the Crockett Cup, fucking really worked hard, especially like the Briscoes and uh, Harry and Doug. You know, Harry Smith came in and te- and and teamed up with Doug and th- those guys. Harry's dude. Harry Smith looks phenomenal. Uh, he's in like the best shape he's ever. The real just, deal. Yeah, dude, and he's just like he's. I kind of empathize with Harry because I, you know, I, I, in a lot of ways, it's 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 not it's a, sim, a similar situation to me in the sense that I think he got picked up really really young. So then, like a lot of the rap on him was is sort of based on when he was very young and too green. And, and now also, like, bro, and he got a lot of that Teddy heat too. Sure, uh, sure. And now he's in his mid thirties, and now he's like polished and like look yeah, like, you know he's like a beast. Chisel, looks like a grown man he's like he's comfortable in his own skin and his work is just like you know really on point and everything and uh dude i was just like we we need him around yeah. like yeah he's a real um, deal it's weird because yeah. he was back at wwe for a minute and then they didn't even yeah. i think he had a dark match and you never got to see yeah. him on tv or whatever yeah who knows man? who knows yeah, well, bro, every time that I've seen NWA, the thing I've liked about it is how simple it is to follow, the, 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 just the whole style, the, because that's kind of like what I grew up on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, La, I'll say this about um, La Rebellion. They, they kind of look, they, I think what they've really embraced more recently is like they've, they've, their promos. Like they've, they've really been able to sort of um, adapt to the NWA kind of style as far as, far as like the studio setting, because what they've done is they've embraced the shit that makes them unique. Yeah. So it's like Mecca Wolf kind of cut, you know, he's a good, he's a good promo. So he's cutting a he good is. promo in English, but then like, but then they'll rip off some stuff in Spanish for, for a little heat. And it's like, and, and there's like an intensity to it. And it's, yeah, that it's. Plus it's, you've got a lot. Here's the thing, Nick, as you know, there's a lot, a lot of talent out there. A lot. There's probably a talent glut. So yeah. everybody's out there competing, hungry, trying to keep their job, trying to get better, and those are two hungry cats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, I already sent, you know, I don't want to get into details, but you would already know. I already sent an email to Mickey so we can start doing what we're going to do in Mexico. No. Yes. So hopefully soon we'll be, we'll be doing something together. All right, Nick, could, Nick, could I ask, how's the K100 code doing with Legacy right now? Is it still doing good? good? It's still doing good? Okay. It's it's dude. It's always been it's 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 uh, it's always been um, pretty consistent. Good. Yeah, we're um, it's uh, we're, we're I've I've got I I invested quite a bit in the last couple of months into it with a marketing company and um, they that that shit's really starting to fire now because what the, what they've been able to finally do is get the retargeting, which is kind of like that's the real cheat code in e-commerce is is getting the retargeting stuff worked out. So, but what I'm noticing is is that um the, the k100 code is still even with even with the sort of uptick in overall volume like it's still it, i'd still say that it's maintained its sort of proportion so i think what's happening is maybe you know some folks are kind of getting it and then maybe uh checking out the site and maybe not buying right away but now they're getting retargeted and now they're coming back and they're remembering to use the code but you know it, the, the thing with the code is that your guys that your fans are, are are loyal to you so they're using it kind of out of principle, you know, to sort of um, to so make sure that it, show. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. tell I'm going to tell people that with the was when we advertise for Legacy Subs, I'm going to say look for the look for the Legacy Subs dating app that will come as soon because with all the people getting better looking with their taking the Legacy Subs and their their bodies look better, that Legacy Subs will have a dating app 
where girls can date people that are using legacy subs. And I'm going to tell yeah, them that. I, I, I think that bit sounded better in your head than it did when it, when it came out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like most bits. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, where can we find you, Nick? Uh, Twitter at real Nick Aldis, Instagram at Nick Aldis, verified on both. And as usual, uh, legacy sports nutrition, legacy subs.com. Use code K100. Um, we've got we've, we've, we're we're about to launch some new products. We're going to get into protein and aminos. Uh, it's been something that people have been asking for a lot, and um, so we're we're that'll be probably our next wave of of uh, new stuff. We're going to keep uh, expanding the line, and um, yeah, man, we're 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 on and we're we're, we're rolling along nicely. Well, continued success with Legacy Subs. We all use it here on the show for different reasons. It's fucking great. That's why we use it. Uh, obviously, our our listeners have been using it, and um, you know, continued success with the NWA and uh, and with Legacy Subs. I want to thank you for being on, keeping it one hundred. Boom.